you be tubered in. What's up, you be tube tube? Hey, YouTube. So, uh, you may have bought your panels and then came to a point to where you're like, how am I going to mount these things? You may have even looked up solar racking and just had a super shocking uh, awakening that it's kind of pricey. So I've came up with some solutions to get these guys like that. And I'm going to show you some things that I came up with coming up. All right, let's talk about mounting panels using things that you can basically just go to your hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, and not break the bank using an official solar racking or, or whatnot. This is actually kind of, I think I stressed over this a little bit because I really, I really wasn't sure what, uh, what I was going to use to mount solar panels. So anyways, let's start. This is Unistrut, or it's also sold under the brand name Superstrut, and I think there's several other different names of it. But this is the stuff that they use to uh, mount equipment and conduit for uh, electrical work, like on the side of a building or maybe uh, inside of a cabinet or what have you. I think you guys have all seen this. So this is going to be the base of what the panels will go on to. It's not super cheap, but it's not super expensive. Uh, this 10 foot length right here is roughly about 20 bucks. So that's not too terrible. And I can put three 300 watt big ass solar panels on it, like the ones I showed you. And uh, well, using two of these. So what I like to do is use this is made for this super uh, uni strut, super strut. This is called a uh, cone nut. And it fits down into this channel and you spin it and it pretty much locks into place. You see that, all right. Yeah, it locks into place. And uh, I, got, I just got the quarter inch ones right there. So on the back of your panels, you're gonna have, hopefully, these slots. Yep. Two at the top, and then two at the bottom. There's some bolts stuck in this one. So, I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. Those are gonna mount on there like that. The beauty of this is, let me see if I can get them in. Because you're going to have, if you're putting this on something like your roof. Whoops. Dang it, I can't hold my tablet and uh, do stuff at the same time. Apparently, I killed the video. Anyways, like I said, if you're putting this thing up on your roof or any roof, whatever. Now, this is a small panel, but those ones I have up, up on my roof are large and they're very heavy. You're going to want to get those things in 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 a place and have something to immediately latch onto or you're going to risk them sliding right off your roof possibly dragging you along with it so the beauty of this is that you've got those sticking out of the back of your panels and as soon as you get it up on your roof you're going to lay the panel down and that's going to go right into the channel and this guy is not going to go sliding off your roof and when you do that, you get it into the channel. Uh, and then you can just reach your finger down there and, and spin it around and it locks into place. Now, how do we get it cinched down? Well, I use these ratcheting uh, wrenches and I get behind there and then you can, you can wrench it. Now, of course, you need space between the back of the solar panel and the um, and the surface, the roof or whatever. So make sure to give yourself some space so you can get in there and get that ratchet, uh, ratcheting uh, ratchet or wrench on top of that nut so you can cinch it down. And really, it's it's just that simple. This is the simplest way that I have found 
it's it's fairly inexpensive and it, and it works uh, fantastically now there is a problem this works great if you're doing a single row because you can get behind get your hand behind there and cinch these all up put the next panel on cinch that one up cinch that one up if you have a row beneath you're not going to get be able to get underneath there and cinch these guys up well i came up with a solution for that too these are uni strut ah, half inch pipe clamps and they're going to come slightly bent bowed to the shape of the pipe and all you're going to do is put that in a vise and flatten it out and it essentially fits into the super strut just like this right you see where i'm going with this so what you do is if you got a row underneath um, you can still put these on but just expect you're not going to be able to cinch them down you could still put them on just to keep your panels in place and not sliding off the roof and then once you do that you're going to stick this into the channel and just use some self-topping screws and screw it into the side of your panel it's not going to go anywhere you know it that's locked in you might have a li little wiggle you know but it's not going to go anywhere now on the ends you will be able to get your hand in there to tighten this up so i would suggest putting this uh cone nut on the ends because you can cinch that down that way your panels won't slide so when you're stacking one next to another one you would put this on then stack the the next panel up uh, onto the uh, uni strut give yourself some space you know a foot or so and strap the other side on and then you just slide the panel up next to this one after this is on because it'll it'll continue to you know it'll be able to slide in there and that's why you want to cinch up a cone nut on the panels on the end so you're you know if you get a heavy wind or whatever it's not going to blow your array off and so that's that's pretty much about it on on doing that um i wish i could yeah, hold on let me try this i'm set up now so yeah this is how the process process will go put your cone nuts on your panel with them uh horizontal like that so it's going to fit into your super strut channel and that's your super strut channel mounted somewhere I'm just going to drag it up. Like that. Now it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to slide off your surface or wherever it is. Then you're just going to, um, well, I think I've got these too tight so they won't move around. But you need them a little bit loose so you can spin them inside there. But you're just going to spin that. Uh, of course, you're going to have to have your uh, strut off the roof you know far enough to get your hand up in there and cinch it down and that's it and that's that's gonna be on there so whether you're putting on a roof or you're putting on a pergola or you're putting it on a uh, a van RV whatever this is a good solution it'll work uh, so another thing that we, we need to touch on is if you are putting it on the roof, of course you want it suspended up off of the the roof. And uh, I went ahead and I bought these uh, roof jacks, and these are official kind of solar racking hardware. I got these for for I say cheap on eBay. They were cheaper than than what they would cost if you bought them from some. Uh, warehouse or whatever but they were still expensive I think it was like uh, I think I got 18 with the bolts and the lag bolts uh, for maybe $90 or something shipped so I bought these but you don't have to use these if you don't want to uh, you you could use a 2x4 
Now this is not a 2x4, I don't have a chunk of 2x4 uh, hanging around, but uh, we'll pretend like this is it. This is. If you're gonna use a piece of wood, I probably would coat it with something, you know, to where it's a little bit more wet, wa waterproof. And I've seen people use these before and they mount them, you know, like this. And I don't think that's a real good idea because basically what's gonna happen is, you're gonna have the water coming off your roof and it's going to settle right here. And over time, that's gonna rot. And it's also you know, gonna give you more of an opportunity for water to pull up and seep into your roof. You don't want that crap. I would mount them like this. You see what I'm talking about? So when the water comes down, it doesn't have any place to pull up on. It's just gonna run right off the sides and that's exactly what you want it to do. Okay, so we got that covered. And let's cover flashing. Flashing's easy. This is just aluminum flashing that you can buy at Home Depot. It comes in a roll, uh, uh, 10 or 20 foot or something like that. And I think I paid, you know, somewhere around 10, maybe, I think somewhere around $10. It's cheap. You don't have to buy the pre-cut flashing because it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. <laughs> you can just get the roll. You can cut this with scissors. It's super easy. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna do something to lift up your, your shingle. I take some adhesive, some roofing adhesive, uh, and put like a, a U right here. Slide it up on underneath the shingle, and then I screw this guy down on top of it. Well, I put some uh, roofing adhesive sealant on the bottom of this, and I squirt some down into the hole. And then, actually, then I screw this down. This actually, these actually work. Sorry, I should show you that. These have a hole in there for your your lag bolt to go into, or your your big your big screw bolt, whatever the hell it's called, to go down into. And you're gonna screw that to the roof. And then you'll stick those in. That's pretty much about it. There you go, I hope you, uh, uh, I hope this gave you some ideas of how you can mount your panels without costing you a fortune. I know a, a, if you're like me at all, you're always looking for a bargain. And when I buy panels, I don't pay, you know, brand new prices and, and I, I bet you guys are probably the same way. Um, uh, I, I buy them either used or new old, old stock and I get them for maybe a, for a third or a quarter of, of what the price would be brand new. So that kind of makes me not want to spend a ton of money on racking or anything like that since I've already got the panels for a stupid good deal. Same thing with batteries. I'm not, I'm not jumping on, uh, Amazon or whatnot and, buying batteries like I got these guys off a of battery hookup I've gotten individual sales from uh, Jehu Garcia's web uh, his little web store actually he uh, he I got a bunch uh, for free from him because I um, I helped him unlock his scooter batteries so he he had kind of a bounty for somebody to do that and I came through for him and he gave me a, a super hookup uh, and so I bought a bunch of individual cells from him or I used that uh, hookup that he gave me to get a bunch of individual cells uh, but individual cells are a little bit of a pain in the ass because you've got to spot weld them all together these guys like this, this is a lot, a lot easier to deal with anyways so there you go uh, uh, like I said I hope that uh, you have I've uh, given you some ideas and uh, see you guys on the next video